All right, good morning. Uh, Thursday, 10 a.m., going to do the update from the National Hurricane Center, as you can see there with the um, the, the text. With We just had an upgrade to Tropical Depression uh, 14, so we're going to talk about that, where it's going, and we're also going to talk about Tropical Depression uh, 13, which is headed uh, west as well. So let's hop right into it. The tropics very, very busy. You can see there we have two systems, 14 and 13. One is in the 14 is in the Caribbean, 13 is in the Atlantic. Uh, and then we have that third area that is just off the coast of Africa that has a medium chance of development. Not really concerned with that at the moment because we've got uh, a few other things we're going to be focusing on. So you can see here, uh, taking a look first at tropical depression, 14 is the newest storm to form. Um, and it is a big old complex of showers and storms, but it now has a closed center of circulation. So you can see there that uh, it is sustained winds at about 35 miles per hour, gusting to 45. Now, taking a look at the track of this thing, it does have it moving towards the uh, towards the northwest. And strengthening pretty quickly, you can see they're becoming a tropical storm maybe later on today. That is certainly a possibility, and it would be maybe Tropical Storm Laura. The big question is, does Tropical Storm or Tropical Depression 13 or 14 become a storm first? So the next two names are Laura and Laura and Marco. Um, and it looks like this one might become Laura first, but you can see they're moving up towards the Yucatan Peninsula. And then as we get closer to uh, the weekend, that's when it gets into the Gulf of Mexico, maybe by late Sunday, and then making its way off towards the northwest. Um, and models are um, hinting at maybe a landfall somewhere along the Houston area. But notice we're very close here in southeast Louisiana. Uh, so plenty of uncertainty with this forecast. So I know uh, New Orleans technically not in the cone right now, but we st still need to follow this very, very closely because there is a lot of uncertainty with this part of the forecast once we get into Monday and then into Tuesday, notice very near the northern Gulf Coast. So we're looking at maybe Tuesday morning uh, into Tuesday, throughout Tuesday, getting close to landfall somewhere on the northern Gulf Coast. So we need to watch this very, very closely as potentially a pretty strong storm. They don't have it becoming a hurricane in any of their icons, but notice they do have it becoming very strong by Saturday, maybe getting close to 70 miles per hour. It weakens as it moves over land, and then as it gets back over the Gulf of Mexico, probably restrengthening some. So we'll need to watch that very closely. We can see there maybe by Tuesday impacting parts of the northern Gulf Coast. That's 14. Now let's get to 13. Now Tropical Depression 13 has been out there a little bit longer. Um, it's uh, not much more organized than what it was yesterday. It's still got some dry air and shear. But we'll put a track on this and notice they have this moving west-northwest and continuing that westerly track um, and then possibly becoming a hurricane as it approaches uh, kind of the Florida Straits and up towards the Florida Peninsula by Monday morning into Tuesday. So by Monday going into Tuesday, we could have this system in the Gulf of Mexico. So it is certainly possible that we have, you know, two separate systems in the Gulf of Mexico and two systems we need to watch very, very closely. They do have this becoming a Category 1 hurricane, but there is still a tremendous amount of uncertainty, probably more than normal here uh, for this part of the forecast. Something interesting with this part of the forecast will be the intensity because that will likely determine what track this takes. If we have a stronger storm coming in um, earlier, it will likely take more of a northerly track. A stronger system will turn a little bit more to the north more than likely, so that could have more of a direct impact on much of the Florida Peninsula. Now, if we have a weaker system coming in and it struggles and it struggles with the islands right here, it's possible that it gets a bit further towards the south and takes more of kind of this westerly track. So um, as it heads towards the west, we'll be watching the intensity of Tropical Depression 13 very closely because that'll likely determine whether it gets a little bit more into the Gulf of Mexico or if it tries to stay a little bit more towards the east and it curves up a little bit more quickly. So in New Orleans and South Mississippi, really the entire northern Gulf Coast, we need to watch these very, very closely because there is still so much uncertainty with the exact track of these systems. So we're looking at by Tuesday morning, maybe it's into the Gulf of Mexico. So what that means is, yes, we still have quite a few days to watch this. But um, as you know, Thursday, it's Thursday. So we're, you know, five days out from this thing, possibly being into the Gulf of Mexico. And with the all with the amount of uncertainty with this, it's best now to just, you know, have your plan, know what you'll do just in case. And, you know, it's no guarantee that this thing gets all the way um, you know, up to hurricane status into the Gulf of Mexico. Some models don't develop this at all. Some models have it much stronger than a Category 1 hurricane. So that has the uh, shows you the uncertainty with what we're dealing with with this forecast. Now, one thing that does look pretty certain is the moisture getting into uh, the area. So I'll show you the moisture with these systems, and you can see pretty clearly um, what we're dealing with here with these two 
uh, areas of moisture. You've got an area of moisture here with Tropical Depression 13, uh, Tropical Depression 13 here. You've got Tropical Depression 14 here. And I'll put these in motion here. And you can see as we go into the weekend, here's Tropical. Let me put a stop on this so we can I can point to it for you. As we go into the weekend, here's Tropical Depression 14 off the Yucatan Peninsula. By Saturday, here's Tropical Depression 13. Excuse me, here's 14. <laughs> here's 13. And you can see they're both continuing to track towards the Gulf of Mexico. Now, as we go into Sunday and Monday, notice there's this huge plume of moisture with Tropical Depression 14 uh, entering the northern Gulf of Mexico right here. So we could start to see some of that higher moisture, maybe some rainfall by Monday from Tropical Depression 14, even if it stays to our to our west so could see some rainfall that from this from sunday going into monday here's tropical depression 13 heading towards florida by monday morning and you can see there as we get into tuesday you've got moisture from this system and moisture from this system so that'll be something interesting to watch also something interesting to watch whenever you get two tropical cyclones close together they're naturally going to interact and that's going to have an impact on the intensity and the path they take so this is not a normal, you know, one system forecast. We, we could potentially have two systems in the Gulf of Mexico trying to interact with each other. I've seen some comments of people saying, oh my gosh, will these combine and make a superstorm? No, that's not really how it works. Um, a lot of times they can actually act to weaken each other. Um, so that's just something we'll have to watch pretty closely. But that's what we're dealing with right now. And... Um, you know, there's still a lot of uncertainty with this forecast, with both of these forecasts, but it's something we need to watch uh, very, very closely. Just breaking down the timeline once again before I let you go here. Um, Tropical Depression 14, you know, is expected to become maybe Laura later today. Get into the Gulf of Mexico by this weekend, maybe making landfall somewhere along the northern Gulf Coast. They have it towards Houston by Tuesday. So that's what we're looking at with 14. What we're looking at with 13 is getting into the Gulf of Mexico or getting close to the Gulf of Mexico by Monday and into Tuesday as well, possibly as a Category 1 storm approaching Florida. So that's what we're dealing with there. So the overall message, just like we preach all hurricane season, is or with any storm, is there is a lot of uncertainty. You do need to check back daily. Of course, August 20th kind of marks the, uh, the start of the peak of hurricane season. The official peak is September 10th. So we do expect... Um, you know, the next couple of weeks to be fairly active, if not the next three to four weeks. And um, we've got to stay up to date on these. Unfortunately, we've got two systems to track, so it's quite a lot to, to, to watch. But we do want you checking in daily. So that's the latest as of 10 a.m. Of course, we'll have a 1 p.m. update and then we'll have our next full update at, uh, at 4 p.m. Uh, this afternoon. Of course, we'll be covering that um, on Channel 4 at 5 and 6. Thanks, everybody, and have a wonderful day.